Bluebeard from Metal Gods TV, and I am with Die So Fluid. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I like your purple beard. Thank you. I like your cat suit. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to catch a bit of your show, because uh, well, obviously I'm here and what have you, but it's pretty good, and I, but I love your album. Oh, thank you very much, yeah. We've had a really good time today, actually. Yeah, we've been, like, you know, really excited about playing Hard Rock Hell for a while and, and uh, you know, particularly because it's a good opportunity to play into loads of people who uh, haven't heard what we do yet, so now they know. <laughs> well, your live show seems a lot heavier than your, um, actually, CD. Oh, do you think so? Yeah. Maybe you're just not playing it loud enough. <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe. It seems to have a, you know, yeah, a heavier vibe, that's what I meant. Yeah, oh, okay. Probably mm. on bass, but you're eating it a lot harder on the strings. Yeah, it's because I'm badass. <laughs> yeah, I make my fingers bleed, actually. It's not too bad today. And uh, what have you got planned after Hard Rock Hell? I'm actually uh, going on to Manchester tomorrow to do another gig. Um, and uh, after that, uh, we're carrying on with some writing that we've been doing for uh, the next album. Um, and uh, next year is going to see us doing loads more touring um, because the new album is out here but it's not out everywhere else in the world and we need to, to get it out in all the territories and, and uh, tour everywhere we can. Yeah. Is it being well received at the moment? Yeah, really well. It's really great actually. Oh, it's been, uh, like, I mean, I was, we did a lot of work on this record and so you know, I was very precious about it. I spent a lot of time not letting it go until it was you know, well and truly finished. But it seems to be, we've been rewarded. I mean, you know, all the press on it, um, especially in places like Germany and Finland, you know, has been really exceptional. Um, and uh, that's all we can really do is try and make something that's really, really good. I mean, I can't, you know, it's, you know, from where you go from there to be successful and sell loads these days, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, at least I know it's really good. You know. Well, luckily, they seem to be closing slowly but surely the, the illegal download torrent site, so there might be a light at the end of the tunnel for bands to make money. Maybe. That's something, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, it used to be something that you couldn't really say anything um, about, you know. I mean, certainly uh, Lars Ulrich got into a lot of trouble, you know, for trying to take on Napster, and we call him greedy. But it's really down at our level when really, we only really want to sell 100,000 records, you know to make a, a living and then carry on the business and make another record yeah. and a band like us should be able to expect to do something like that but nowadays it's just not an impossible you know very good cool thrust at the moment yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, what countries do you th get do you get received better in other countries than you do in the UK or have you found that you know there's no sort of generalisation as far as press goes yeah. yeah I mean I think you know press in this country it's been very good on an underground level, sort of people who are really into their music and really passionate about the music and the web scene people and the radio people and all that. Um, they've been really good, but the, the, the bigger press over here has just kind of ignored us. Yeah, um, they never give us any breaks, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> whereas in you know, places like Germany, and I mean, I mean Germany and, and Finland especially, you know, it's front covers and things like that, so you know, it's quite a difference. I don't understand why. I mean, like you say, that certain bands, you know, they end up getting the really good press from the bit higher press and what have you. And then other bands that you think, well, they're not really talented, they get it. I just don't understand that. Um, me neither. <laughs> Could be, uh, I don't know, money changing hands. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Allegedly, allegedly. But, um, yeah, no, I mean does my head in really but <laughs> if you want to know but um you know but i mean you know, we, we find our audience wherever it is and i mean we, we I mean, that, yeah that's the, the, the positive side of you know yeah. the internet is that people can find you directly um you don't need that so much anymore you know um especially with all these other um you know like i said mm. before the sort of more fancy web scene type people coming in and um you know it's you can still reach your audience without that in a way yeah and have you been enjoying the tour that you've been doing up, the, up and down the UK? Um, yeah, it's been like a real adventure because of the snow. <laughs> it's like, will we get there? And will everybody else get there? <laughs> but um, it's been amazing, actually, because people have travelled and managed to make it, and it's all been really cool. We just had to pull one show, unfortunately, yesterday, because we couldn't make it down to Brighton, and, and also we thought we'd probably get stuck there, so yeah. <laughs> that would be bad. Um, but, yeah, it's been really cool, yeah. And where do you think's the uh, where's your favourite place to play in the UK? 
in the UK? Um, well, I have to say London really because that's, you know, I lived in London for years and so I suppose that's what I consider as my hometown, you know. I've got to say, Birmingham's really come up in the last year, you know, we've yeah, done two shows there, there. Which, which I've just really enjoyed the atmosphere and we've, you know, we've got, you know, you've got that... That magic, you know, <laughs> communion between uh, band and audience, you know, so I, that's been good. And is there any country that you'd like to go to that you've not, not played that to yet? Um, I think Japan. Yeah. We nearly got to go there and then it messed up, so we need to, we need to go there definitely, yeah. I think you've got the right look for Japan, actually. You'd probably go down really well. Maybe, I hope so. <laughs> They'll be in their uh, cat suits. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> cat suits. <laughs> Um, can you tell people out there what they can expect from uh, a show of yours? A rockin' good time. <laughs> 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 they can expect us to uh, hear, like, you know, the, the quality that they hear on the record. They'll they'll hear that live, and because people always comment on that, that you know, um, sounds just like the record and all that. And um, you know, we we love playing live. That's what it's all about. So yeah, you get a good show. We'll, we'll, you know, put some adrenaline into it. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think you, c you can't tell how good a band is until you actually see them live anyway, I think, and I think you've put on a really good show from what I can see. Oh, well, thanks very much. I think, yeah, it felt like we well, went down really well, so I'm really pleased. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a final message for the people out there, have you got anything you'd like to say to them? Um, just, uh, you should check out Dice of Fluid for yourselves and see what it's all about, because I think we're still at this stage where people, you've heard the name, but you're not quite sure what we do, so, you know, go out and buy the record and... Um, and enjoy, and we'll see you at a gig soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.